guys welcome back to my youtube channel so this is a quick video i was just making a bodysuit and i thought why not film it why not make it together with you guys so just to get you on what i'm making to get you on the same page as i am the first thing we're going to do is sketch so i have my sketchbook with me if you watched my my first video you know that, that this sketchbook is pretty much very old and it has seen better days so uh, I have this page where I'm going to sketch the bodysuit just before a quick sketch when I say a quick sketch it means no face no hands this that maybe a dress form and what I'm trying to work with the front and the back my my pencil just a normal HB number two pencil I have my sharpener I have my eraser and what else like I'm trying to show you I'm using the most basic things for this sketch so I have what I call a permanent marker. You can get this from the supermarket for only 50 Kenyan shillings. And I have this, this I buy them from textbook center. I don't know if you can see it. Focus. This I buy from textbook center. It's just a gold pen, gold gel pen. Yes, gold gel pen. I buy them for maybe 200 shillings each. So I have, I have them in gold, I have silver. So today, the fabric I'm working with, which is this one, it has uh, shiny golden details on it. It's black, embellished with this black. I don't know if you can see. It has black um, dots or black polka dots on it, which are not uh, arranged in any particular order, and it stretches. Someone asked, was asking me, do you need like professional markers for your sketches? And it depends with where you are in your sketch life, in your sketch progress, <laughs> sketch life, in your sketch progress. Like um, if you're more advanced, if you're confident with what you produce, if you're confident with your sketches, I think you can just go for the Copics, you can go for the Prismas, you can go for the Winsor and Newton markers. The first thing I always do is sharpen my pencil. I think working with a very sharp pencil for your illustrations is usually like the best thing. It makes fine lines and if, even if, because you, when you start sketching, you keep going over one line like two, three times. So even if you did that, uh, with a sharp pencil, it wouldn't form such a blur or thick line. Yeah, making it easier for you to outline when you get to outline. Mm -hmm.
sketch of what we're working with um it's a body suit let's just work with the swimsuit because the fabric is pretty easy and light in such a way that if it were to get water it wouldn't be so heavy for someone on or so, feel so heavy on someone's body so let's just say we are making a swimming costume or a swimsuit yeah so this is the front it's a simple boat neckline actually a very high neckline sleeveless uh it, of course it's sleeveless and this is the back with a cap back, back neckline and a very mean spine that goes down to the lower part of the swim costume or the swimsuit so let's let's get down to it so something else i've forgotten uh uh sketch is not a sketch or a design is not a design unless you stick a swash or uh staple a swash of the fabric you're working with here just for future reference or just for your work your work needs to be neat and i think as a designer you always accumulate things you, there's no particular day design oh today is the day i put fabric swashes on all my um sketches so i think this is it so right now i'm going to get myself some scissors and a stapler i love the small cute staplers I'm, i know i'm not alone if you're with me please comment down below i know you also love the small stapler So our sketch is complete. This is this is it. This is what you call a complete. I don't know what's happening with the lighting. So this is our complete uh sketch of what we're working with today or what we're working. So let's get to the next part which is the designing. Guys, so far you know how the drill goes. I put on my favorite neck neck piece, although today I don't think we're using a lot of the tape measure so we can just get rid of that because the bodysuit i'm making is going to fit the dress form exactly as it is so what we're gonna need are lots of pins uh scissors and water nowadays i'm drinking so much so less talking more working <laughs> it's automatically gonna form itself once we fix the back so right now let's work with the back let's work on the back
I'm going to, since this curve has come out just exactly as I want it to, um, this is the curve I'm going to use to place and fold and cut the other curve for balance and symmetry. So let me do that. Before I do that, let me work on the lower curve. a perfect uh, example of how the swimsuit will look like or the bodysuit will look like I love the curve on this side so I'm going to pick out the back and cut the other half of the back the same way I cut the front and that will guide us for the how the front uh, part of this arm is going to come in. So I'm back with the cut piece of the back so we're going to fix it and just see how uh, our costume will look before before we stitch the pieces together. to curve under the front to join the back in the front so if you so far I'm loving the results I think we are ready to stitch this down I think we are ready to sew the pieces together and just see how but basically this is how it's gonna come out I need to cover out this part too because you see the other side is curved out so let's cover out this part <laughs> but this thing is gorgeous wait until i put it on the mannequin and then i've added a bit of tool along the edges the hip line just to make it look a bit classy <laughs> I, I like how it's come out and this fabric is quite nice because once the light hits it I don't know if you can notice it shimmers a bit do you notice yeah I like it so I added some tool you see the back I added some tool I think this is such a this is something I say that you'd see on Victoria's Secret runways and I like it I like it so I'm gonna get you closer for you to see how I'm going to trim the tool because it's just as rough as I have sewn it on. It's not uh, trimmed out. So I'm going to bring you closer. Mm. Do you see how the dress, how the bodysuit is shimmering like in the light? I like that. So I added the tool. This is so Victoria's Secret. Why Victoria's Secret models? Or do they call them angels? Victoria Secret angels would wear this. Going to trim out the edges of the dress form, of the tool, just to give it a bit of 
uh, definition. What I want is a curve, like a shorter front. Then I want it to be the widest, the tool to be the longest along the edges, along the side seam. <laughs> place look voluminous i don't know if you can see the difference between this side this side and this side this side looks rough and the edges are like bending yeah the edges are bending yet i want them to like go straight out like this one this one has gone straight out I'm going to do the same thing for the other side like we've trimmed this side we're going to trim the other side uh, I'm going to use my eye for the length just to check to check that the length is the same. done ready i like it i like the shimmering remember the light hits it and it and i the the high neck this is something it's a dark secret so it's always good to design something like out of the box something that will challenge you and this one did the fabric is stretch and it would fit any i think so between small and medium yeah i think between a size small and a size medium this would fit perfectly yeah, and I like it. I'm going to explore how to do this. So I'm going to bring you closer just to see the finished look of learned something i really enjoyed making this piece like i think it's very um, wild very out there very like i keep saying victoria's secret esque i love it i love the shimmer i love the tool yeah hope to see you on the next uh video i had i had two shout outs fashion shout outs to my fans or people i find actively supporting me or actively motivating me or people who i really motivate out there oh so today i'm going to you know name them i'll be doing two two people per video and the first one is wamaitha underscore jazz thank you so much wamaitha i see you supporting me i see you uh, motivating I see that I actually motivate you thank you so much and the other one is Warimo Kihagi Warimo Kihagi and these names I'm getting them from my Insta Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram please do go follow me on Instagram I also post uh, daily OOTDs or outfits of the day there what else do I post I post um, just uh there's something interesting i'm doing that nowadays i get fabric and we do a no stitch just pins and dress forms we make we create a design mostly gowns and i did that one on instagram uh last week and the and the feedback was really good so i'm going to be doing more of that on instagram and then when you come back here we're going to be designing actual outfits so the two are Wamaita underscore Jazz and Wairimo Kihagi. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you that I am humbled that I get to motivate you. So until next time, stay creative and see you on the next video, guys.